What's up, y'all? So we were about two weeks away from the All-Star break, which means home run derby. It means the All-Star game. But something that always kind of goes under the radar, and maybe it won't this year, is the MLB Future Stars game. So this is when all the top prospects in the baseball, uh, they play a game AL versus NL. It just depends on what team you're drafted to. And it's usually really exciting. Uh, this year, it'll be, uh, I'm pretty sure, July 11th, because it's the day before the home run derby. And then, uh, obviously, two days before the All-Star game. So today, we're going to go through the lineups that were announced. Um, super exciting. And then I'll make kind of a mock... Uh, starting nine to see between the AL and the NL which team is better. We'll start off with the American League pitching. We got Shane Baz for the Rays. I have a feeling he might start this game. You got Reed Detmers, top top uh, pick by the Angels um, just last year. You got Marcos Diplon. Obviously, I don't know everything about all these prospects. I just know a bit about some. Emerson Hancock, top pitching prospect for the Mariners. Uh, Luis Medina for the Yankees. Cole Raggins for the Texas Rangers. Josh Winder for the Twins. Cole Wynn for the Rangers. Uh, Hector Yawn for the Angels. The Angels got two pitching prospects in there because we know they need pitching. So ex exciting if you see your team getting called because it means you got a guy who's a top prospect who'll coming up and will help your team probably next couple years. Um, so that's always exciting. For infielders for the American League, you have Vidal Brujan for the Rays. You got Jake Berger for the White Sox. Jeter Downs for the Red Sox. He came over in that Mookie Betts trade with Verdugo. Uh, Austin Martin for the Blue Jays, one of my favorite players, and I was so excited when he fell to the Jays. Um, Nick Prato for the Royals, Spencer Torkelson, the first overall pick for the just last year for the Tigers, and Bobby Witt Jr., who's been like a top five prospect for a couple years now. He's there for the Royals. The catchers, there's three. You got Bo Naylor, or Noah Naylor, for the Indians. You got Tyler Soderstrom for the Oakland Athletics. And then you got Adley Rutschman, um, the Baltimore Orioles catcher, who since Wander Franco got the call, Adley Rutschman is now the number one prospect in the MLB. Uh, so obviously AL is already looking a little stacked. And then the outfielders for the American League team, you got Yolki Cespedes for the Chicago White Sox, uh, top prospect out of the Dominican Republic. You got Jason Dominguez, who is the epitome of a top prospect. He's the 24th overall prospect in baseball, but he's only 17. Um, crazy guy. I mean, I almost feel bad for him. He's got, he's got so much hype around him. It's almost too much uh, pressure in a way. Uh, you got Riley Green for the Tigers, big prospect. You got Jared Kalenic for the Mariners, a guy who came up um, made his debut this year. Didn't do great, but went back down to AAA and has been mashing. Uh, you got Pedro Leon for the Houston Astros. Then you got Julio Rodriguez for the Mariners. So the Mariners have two prospects right there because we know how good their outfield is going to be when they also have Taylor Trammell. They also have Kyle Lewis. Watch out for the Mariners in a couple years. Now for the National League side of things, which is not as stacked as the American League, but this has got some really good prospects. Pitchers, you got Cade Cavalli for the Nationals. You got Rowan C. Contreras for the Pirates. Everyone, people know the Pirates need help. You got Andre Jackson for the Dodgers. The Dodgers don't need any more help. You got Matthew Libertor for the uh, Cardinals. He's a top prospect. You got Nick Lodolo for the Reds, also a pretty big name. Max Meyer for the Marlins. He was drafted just last year. Uh, pretty sure he was a top five pick for the Marlins. You got Quinn Priester for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, Manuel Rodriguez for the Chicago Cubs. And Ethan Small for the Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee Brewers finally have a, a pretty big pros prospect because they've had one of the worst farm systems for a while. Uh, you go to the infielders, you got C.J. Abrams for the San Diego Padres. You got Brett Beatty for the New York Mets. Uh, you got Michael Bush uh, for the Dodgers. Oh, Dodgers don't need any more help. You got Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals. Big prospect, third baseman. Uh, we'll see how long Arenado's there. You got Marco Lu uh, Luciano for the, the Giants. Um, Giants having a great season this year. Bryson Stott for the Phillies. And Michael Toglia for the Colorado Rockies. It's not the same big names. The guys like Abrams... Uh, Beatty, Stott, Luciano, Gorman, those those guys are good prospects. Uh, catchers, Francisco Alvarez for the Mets, uh, Padres, Luis Campusano, um, and then that's for the Padres, yeah, and then the Rockies, they got Willie McCliver. Um, so once again, uh, no, no one crazy, but these are all right. And then their outfielders, you got Brendan Davis for the Cubs, Michael Harris the second for the Braves, Helio Ram Ramos for the Giants, another top prospect for the Giants, Alec Thomas for the D-backs, D-backs definitely need help. Uh, Ryan Vallad or Vallade for the Rockies again. So Rockies have had a couple of prospects. I think, yeah, the Rockies have three on this National League team. Uh, and then Drew Waters for the Atlanta Braves. Let's get into, if I, when these lineups come out on like June 11th, let's get into how these look. The starting lineups, because everyone will eventually get in the game, but they'll start the best players first. The starting pitcher for the American League uh, Futures game all-star game, whatever you want to call it, is Shane Baz of the Tampa Bay Rays. This guy was on the Pirates. He was in the Pirates farm system, and then the worst trade 
in a long time happened. The Tampa Bay Rays, um, they got back Tyler Glass now. They got back Austin Meadows, two massive pieces of their team. And they got back Shane Bass. They sent over Chris Archer for one year of where he was really bad. And they another year he was hurt. And then Chris Archer came back to the Rays. So it was a four for practically nothing deal. That's going to haunt the Pirates for a while. Uh, their catcher is Adley Rutschman, the number one prospect in baseball. Not much more has to be said. He will probably make his debut um, late 2021, so this year. Starting third baseman, I have Austin Martin, uh, the fourth overall pick, I'm pretty sure, last year. He was projected to go second. He fell a little bit to my Blue Jays. Um, starting shortstop, Jeter Downs. Uh, him and Verdugo came over to the Red Sox in the Mookie Betts trade. Um, and you got Bobby Witt and Spencer Torkelson manning the right side. All these guys are massive, massive prospects in that infield. Uh, the outfield doesn't take any more break. I'm going Julio Rodriguez in left, um, Jared Kalenic in right, two Mariners prospects. Like I said, watch out for the Mariners outfield. And then Jason Dominguez in center field. 17-year-old guy. I, I don't know if they're really going to start him, but, I mean, he's got all the hype around him. That's an, an insane That's an insane team, even if they only play all together for about an inning or two. We'll look at the National League team. I think everyone can agree the American League team is better. But their starting pitcher is Max Meyer. Pretty sure he was the fifth overall pick by the Marlins last year. Catching, Luis Campusana. Pretty sure he's a top 30 prospect. Uh, infield, starting Gorman at third. CJ Abrams at short. Marco Luciano at second. And Brett Beatty at first. Brett Beatty doesn't really play that much first. But I'm not sure if they had a, a first baseman on that list. So that's a pretty solid infield. Um, and then we got to the outfield, which is not great. It's Brennan Davis, Drew Waters, and Alec Thomas. I'm not sure if any of those guys uh, hit the top 30 in the prospect ranks. So this game, I suggest, I'm suggest. i not gonna suggest. If I had to pick who's gonna win, it'd be the American League. I'm gonna cheer for the American League because Austin Martin and the Blue Jays are on that side. Um, this American League team, I'd have to look back into a former Future Stars game. This American League team, with Baz, Rutschman, Kalenic, uh, Dominguez, Julio Rodriguez, Austin Martin, uh, Torkelson, Witt Jr. This team is absolutely stacked. I'm so excited for All-Star Week. It's about two weeks away. I did my Homer and Derby predict prediction video. And so far, I've got two out of four. I predicted Otani and Trevor Story to be in it. And those guys will. I didn't predict Mancini or uh, Pete Alonso. I definitely should have got Pete Alonso. He, he's there and he won it last time. Uh, that's all good. I'm excited for the All-Star Game. Uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr., number one in votes. So uh, keep voting for you guys, and this All-Star Game should be so much fun, especially considering we didn't have one last year. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out.